She's going to say it. She's not going to say it. Shut up. She's going to say it. What the fuck are they doing? It's a theater trick. If you open with a deliberate spatial with displacement, it doesn't quite break the fourth wall, but it does knock one of the bricks out. It looks like someone told them that empathy is about putting yourself in someone else's shoes. So they went, okay, do it, do it, do No, not literally. I mean, imagine you're someone else. Okay, you're not cut out for this course, are you? Did you just play both parts by yourself? I can go deeper! The, the first, first day I realized I was black. Bloody hell. They're actually doing it, folks. Being a white woman is as hard as being a black man. If a black man and a white man, and a black woman and a white woman, all commit the same crime, the black man is the most likely to be prosecuted, and the white woman is the least likely to be prosecuted. And every other demographic combination is somewhere between the two. White women are history's most privileged demographic, ladies and gentlemen. And this is how you can tell. Because they get to stand on stage next to a member of history's least privileged demographic and act like their problems are the fucking same. It was 2000. We had just learned about blacks for the first time in second grade. You learned about blacks in the second grade? When did you learn about Irishmen? You don't learn the truth about the Irish. You learn from them. And what do you learn from the Welsh? More than I care to know. At recess, all the white kids chased me into the wood chanting slave. Do you know what slave means? It means Slav. It means person of Slavic descent. And you can see why that's traumatizing. Yeah, no one likes being called a white man. My mother said I refused to come out for three hours. Said she thinks I was lost in the trees, but I just needed to be closer to my roots. Ha 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 Hey! What? Hey! What? I don't get the joke. Roots. Tree roots. Oh, right. Right. Are you sure that was even supposed to be a joke? Fucking oath it was. As, As a, a woman, wo having a boyfriend is a battle. Having a boyfriend is a battle. Did she really say that? She did. She really fucking said that? Having any kind of friend, my darling, it's a joy and an honor and a masterpiece of nature. Having any kind of friend is not a fucking battle. Unless you are a very unfriendly person. To that particular kind of friend in question. Yes. If 70% of us are abused in a lifetime, what is the number of men doing it? The answer is not one man running faster than light to complete a mission, and that is what leaves me sick. You're quite willing to believe in Santa Claus. For as long as it takes for you to get material possessions, but you will gladly take the most inflated statistic you can find and you can only conclude that either 100% of men are potential rapists or there's some kind of rape Santa out there. Well, allow me to burst those bubbles. Rapes are indeed committed mostly by repeat offenders and 100% of Santa sightings are cases of adults simply manipulating children by lying to them. It's all remarkably intersectional when you think about it. We say we don't live in a rape culture, but Santa's pretty fucking rapey. As an idea, you mean? As an idea, yes. Sometimes I think the Santa myth was created as an excuse for dodgy uncles to sneak into kids' bedrooms. Sounds like something Sarkeesian would say. It probably is. Probably is. The second day I realized I was black was in a gas station. I only had 25 cents, so I searched what to spend it on. The cashier floated from aisle to aisle. Eyes fixed on my hands. That, that was, was the, the first, first time, time I realized, realized skin, skin color was, was a crime. crime. See, that was the first time I realised that paranoia is not your friend and that you shouldn't go shopping for food when you're stoned. Oh, not cool, man. Just because he's black doesn't mean he's a stoner. I have anecdotes about getting stoned because I get stoned all the time. It's nothing to do with race. In fact, <laughs> what you just said was racist. Yeah, but you're doing both voices. Well, who are you talking to then? My body has become cause to write legislation, cause for ass smacks in the back of a class. My body has amended everything except respect. I've been asked, what makes you feel unsafe? And I struggle not to yell everything. everything See, when I have a pointless, implosive argument with myself, you can tell I'm making it pointless on purpose. The puppets are a dead giveaway. Whereas you guys are actually doing it for real, real, and you are the puppets.
The third day I realized I was black was in an all-white cafeteria. I gathered my legs under me, made rockets on my feet, and approached a girl. She told me she was not into my type of guy. I felt the words shoot daggers into my melanin. I have never wanted to disappear so bad. Has that ever happened to you? Yes. Yes, it has. Did you think it was because of your skin colour? I do get quite pale in the winter, but no. I assumed it was because of my personality. Yes, you see, not my type is the most popular line of rejection there is, precisely because it indulges no obligation to explain any further. It's like saying, no, and I'm not even showing you my workings. Most of us have, exper have experienced it many times and, and, and been cast into that dark cauldron of what the fuck is wrong with me. But some of us are burdened with the possibility that it's just because of our appearance, whereas some of us have the privilege of concluding that the terminally unattractive thing about me is my personality. You, uh, you shifted into first person singular there. Shut up. As a woman, I've learned to answer to everything except my name. Little lady is not said to mean equal, but to make sure I remember my place, I battle between wanting to own my body. Should we be talking in, like, poetry? Only if we're responding to poetry. Oh yeah, this, is, this counts as poetry. You fucking what, mate? And accepting there's a one in four chance a man will lay claim to my skin, a plot of land for the taking. No one gives a fuck about your skin except you, you revolting erotomaniacal cuntfish. If your character is admirable, then people will respect your skin by virtue of your character. And it does not bode well for your character if you insist that you are hundreds of times more ripeable than you in fact are. You're certainly not going to attract any, any, statistic, any statisticians. I think statisticians are sexy. You think chimps are sexy? Triggered! The last day I realized I was black was in an elevator in California. To the white woman that told me she knows what it feels like to be black because she grew up poor. She was probably confirming that the high percentage of black criminals is correlation, not causation. Due to black people occupying poorer communities. And that even though people do commit crimes because they're poor, other law-abiding poor people will always face the same stigma. So much for reaching out to the downtrodden, eh? So, my dear fellow, what, what would you say to the white woman stood next to you right now who's telling you she knows what it's like to be black even though she's rich? I would, I would tell, tell you to think, think before, before you speak, speak but, but your mind has got to be bacteria infected, and any filter through that labyrinth of nothingness might be worse than no thought at all. If either of us could move our limbs, we would be doing a frenzy of jazz hands right now. I think I came. There is a group of women going around the room sharing their personal definition of feminism. He is the only man in the room and all of a sudden, the tone switches to destroying the patriarchy by annihilating all men. Alright, so it took us about five minutes to figure out what the hell she's complaining about here. And let me tell you, two heads are not always better than one. No, but I think what she's saying is feminists focus too much on demonizing men and they don't pay enough attention to me. Yes, and half of that was a very good point, unfortunately. When those feminists drop what they're doing and come to your aid, saying, what do you need? What, do you, what would you like us to do? Your response, my dear, is basically demonize men. Do you see the problem here? Do you know what it feels like to be black? To pop lock your way in and out of hugs, it is not a problem you want to sympathize. But, but to, to tell, tell me you know, know my pain is to stab yourself in the leg because you saw me get shot. We have two different wounds and looking at yours does nothing to heal mine. Do either of you see any of the problems here? Never will I turn away an ally. But when a man speaks on my behalf, that only proves my point. Movements are driven by passion, not by asserting yourself dominant by a world that already puts you there. I've got an idea, right? Instead of writing all these dueling victim offs of yours, where you blame all of life's ordinary hardships on your race or your gender, why don't you write about, oh, I don't know, anything else ever? It's worked out remarkably well for white men. You speak to no pain, you only fathom because we told you it was there. You know nothing of silence until someone who cannot know your pain tells you how to fix it. Every day is a crucifixion. If I told you you were going a little bit over the top, would you dismiss my advice because I have amphibian privilege? When there is no regards for lines crossed, I fight so my voice can be heard. Eh, yeah, see, it's not just poetry that's reasonably crap, it's performance art that's exceptionally crap. I fight for the voices you silence all in the name of what is right. And how would you do that exactly? By silencing other people's voices in the name of what is wrong? You're talking about Calgary again. Yes, I'm still talking about bloody Calgary again. The, the problem, problem is, is you assume this struggle is attached to a social class. When everyone knows that struggle is not attached to social class, it's attached to race and gender. 
I am black and bold and beautiful by nature. Ain't no income that can change that. Yeah, it's hard to tell because they're talking so fast at such bollocks, but these people are unbefucking-leavably stupid. The problem with speaking up for each other is that everyone is left without, without a, a voice. voice. So, yeah, thank you for passionately stating the case against the entire manifesto of intersectional feminism in a way that will still leave every intersectional feminist oblivious to the insane bullshit they cause and patting themselves on the back for filing. Goodbye and fuck. I don't know what we fuck. We shall fuck what we shall fuck, dear friend. And we shall fuck it when we shall fuck it.